here we are, finally, um, on the update. I mean, welcome to the update, everybody, with um, your host for the hour, or at least for 30 minutes, Goof Norton. Um, so this is, uh, this is pretty much it. This is what I planned as as far as a sports podcast can go. I mean, there's nothing happening yet, but we're going to get pretty much right into it. So recently, the finals have happened, and it has been freaking bananas because there's been talk i've been listening to freaking sports radio all day um on my on my iheart app and all the talk has been leading to lebron and how he feels about losing in the nba finals um to what has what is basically gonna be probably a dynasty i mean with kevin durant moving to the uh moving to the warriors it they just a super team they just beat LeBron, and not just beat him, beat him badly. Um, they were up three games to one, and this time they didn't blow the lead. So all those memes that everybody had last year about three to one lead, three to one lead, they're still going to be there, but at this point nobody's going to really care anymore because they just took it and they ran with it. Um, they they destroyed the Cleveland Cat. They destroyed Cleveland, and it was, it was just a mess. Um, but, I mean... Anybody, critics are saying that, oh, LeBron is, you know, he's bad, he's bad, he's the worst guy, ooh, lost 3-1 lead, lost to a super team, um, but, I mean, and, and I'm, I'm kind of on this, I mean, I'm not a LeBron fan, I don't personally like LeBron, um, and people are like, well, why don't you like LeBron, or like, well, why don't you like Steph Curry, I mean, it's the same, it's just kind of the same argument, I mean, um, it's kind of ridiculous, but, Getting back on point, LeBron. I feel like his 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 whole status is still kind of intact, um, but at the same time, I feel like he's just been running these past few years. You know, it's the same things trying to starting to happen. Uh, what happened in Miami? You know, the guys are getting a little bit older, and he's feeling a little bit trapped. Like, oh man, these guys are they're slowing down. They're slowing me down. They're slowing they're slowing down, slowing the team down. So he moved back up to his Cleveland. You know. Um, and now the same thing's happening, you know, Kyrie, Kevin Love, uh, J.R. Smith, you know, they, he feels like, hey, they're all getting a little bit slow there, they slowed me down in the finals, you know, we were, we were down three to one, you know, we could have come back, but, mm no, no, that doesn't happen, um, I don't, and, and, and the Warriors are really, they were gonna win, it didn't matter if it was three to two, three to three, you know, the Warriors would have won either way, I believe. Um, even if they go to, if it, even if it did go go to a game seven. So, um, but LeBron is uh, he's hiding. I mean, he's starting to hide. There was a few media interviews, um, you know, asking him like, "Hey, is like, um, you know, what's going on? Like, what? How do you feel? How do you feel about what just happened there?" Um, he, hasn't, he hasn't. I mean, he hasn't. He hasn't said much. I mean, except for actually, I'm gonna just show you this 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 clip here um and he says he has nothing to uh, apologize for um including his finals record but i don't i don't see what he would have really anything to apologize for sorry something's in my eye but LeBron is, he's, he's 32, I mean, honestly, if he left tomorrow, if, like, tomorrow he announced, like, hey, I'm gonna retire, because this is, this is it, you know, the NBA, that's too many super teams, people are gonna look at him, and people are gonna say, wow, look at LeBron, the big baby, the big baby just, you know, left, finally left, I mean, there's gonna be several hundred, you know, fans of other teams rejoicing that, hey, he's finally gone, we can, but then the Warriors are gonna freaking just sweep everyone, take over completely. I mean, it's not that they already, uh, you know, haven't done that. They've pretty much they're on their way if they haven't already done that to do that. Um, but back to LeBron, he's three and five at the finals right now. Jordan, on the other hand, six and zero, oh. six tries to get six rings, and he did it right. LeBron, it took him seven tries to get, uh, sorry, eight tries now to get three rings. And, I mean, of course people jump on him for it. I mean, I would too. Heck, I mean, hey, you're, 
It was supposed to be, you know, really good. And three and five at the finals? I mean, that's a negative record. Come on now. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back off him a little bit because I don't, I don't believe in, you know, just going after a guy just because um, he lost at the big championship game, even though I could totally do that and just destroy him. But, you know, I don't want to – I'm not going to be that guy who's going to be a jerk. Um, I'm just going to do my job and sit here <laughs> and yeah, continue talking about the finals. But it also – another thing that finally happened, Kevin Durant gets a ring. Kevin Durant gets a ring. And, I mean, all the haters now, what? I mean, what? Like, what do they have to say now? Kevin Durant got his ring. He did He did what he set out to do. That's the whole reason for him leaving Oklahoma City. And I don't see why people dislike him for that. It's, he gave freaking um, Russell Westbrook, uh, uh, Westbrook eight years. Eight years. And then he was like, well, it's not working out anymore. It's been eight years since I've been in OKC. And don't, don't get me wrong. I liked him in OKC. He was good. He was a good fit for the team. But he did what he should have done a while ago is go to a team that, hey, that has potential to get you know to the championship, to get to the finals. And he did just that. He did exactly that. He got there. And people are, like, dissing him for it. Like, don't, don't diss him for it, because you're telling me you wouldn't do the same thing. You're telling me if you're sitting there on the same team for eight years, you guys get to the finals, you lose. You had a 3-1 to one lead. You lose it. And then that's it. You know, you're out of the playoffs. You're done. Your season's over. And there, you can't tell me there's been, like, you, you don't even think about it. There's a lot of thought that goes into that. When that happens, um, it gets thought about for a while and then he, he just he just did it i mean he went over to a better team that had was he, he knew that was successful he wasn't taking any chances like jumping over like the, to the 76ers um he wasn't jumping over to um uh, uh uh to the clippers or anything like that he was he was going to a he was going to a sound team that had already been to the finals um more than once and then he was just going there to do his thing you know, and he and and MVP Finals MVP. Are you kidding me? He he did not only win a uh, win a championship, also got MVP. I I literally don't even. I have no words for this guy. Um, and he got MVP for his defense, even though even though his uh actually actually no wait sorry I think I read that wrong. Um, his MVP level de well, he has MVP level defense is what is what I'm saying. Um, but as scoring wise, he just just lit up the court. I mean, honestly, he just went out there and just shot like crazy. Um, and that's that's the kind of team that the Warriors are. You can do that on that team. You can do that. You can just go out there and just shoot and shoot and shoot and. There was talk about, you know, because um, when Steph Curry, you know, he kind of took a back seat. And his other teammates were like, no, 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 we don't need to do that. We need to go out here and be aggressive as you, you know, as you can be. Uh, because that's what they need. That's that's the whole reason why they didn't uh, do that. Because, you know, they that's the whole reason why they didn't succeed, you know, last season. You know, they, they have to, if they can all be aggressive, they can all shoot. Like they normally shoot. Because on the Warriors, the ball finds somebody who can shoot. Because they all can shoot. Um, so the, the ball is going to find somebody. Um, and then they just have to make the play. That's that's it. I mean, you don't have to lax up your shooting. No, no, no. We need you all to full force because that equals greatness right there. You know? Um, there are no ball hogs. Everybody passes the good ball movement all around. Um, good offense overall. You know, so it's it's just it's just wow, you know. Uh, so all the haters, I mean, what now? I mean, I guess they can just shut up now because there's there's nothing left. There is nothing left for them to really even say about this. Um, I would have liked them to finish it. Honestly, I would have liked them to finish it in, in three games because that that was my bet. Warriors in um uh, in three. Well, actually, yeah, Warriors in three. Um, I told um. Um, a guy that uh, he was a he was a Warriors fan. I knew that. 
I was like, mm, maybe Cleveland's going to get in in, uh, in in seven. And I was wrong. Gladly, I was gladly wrong. I was hoping, because I, I was like, I want the Warriors to win, but I think that Cleveland might have it. And thank goodness they did not, because the, Kevin Durant is exactly what the Warriors needed to get another championship. And I believe they can do it next year as well, if they keep the same consist- consistency. Because um, the... That uh, Kevin Durant is just that extra leg. He's just that extra, you know, oomph, you know, extra push that they need to get through, um, and to get past LeBron. And it totally worked. It freaking totally worked. Um, I can't say I, I, I mean, I, I'm like thoroughly impressed with that game, with the, with the uh, outcome. Five games, Warriors finish it. And what's next? The next season. And with the next season, people are trying to move. Um, LeBron, he is kind of sneaking around. He's been, he's been, I, he's him and uh, Paul George have been communicating. But I feel like if LeBron wants Paul George to come to the, you know, to the to the Cavaliers, you know, he needs to kind of be more open about it and be like, hey, you can, like, hey, Paul George, you can come over here, you know. And you don't have to take a back seat to anybody. You don't have to, you know, like hold back. You can go all out just like you normally do. You can come here and win a championship. Or you can stay on your current team. You can stay with the Pacers. And you can just be there for another few years and not get anything done. And and always almost make it to the playoffs or almost make it to the finals. But when here, you're, at, you're in this team... When you're in Cleveland, when you're at the Cavaliers, when you're with the Cavs, you can make it to the finals. You know, there's no almost. You can make it to the finals. You have a guaranteed, guaranteed spot there already. Because we can already bet that the that the uh, Cavaliers and the Warriors are going to go back again and again and again to the to the um, to the finals. I mean, five or six years from now, it's probably going to be happening. Um, and. I mean, and I, I think that's what LeBron should do. I mean, there's been there's been there's been joking talk about him, uh, him and uh, Chris Paul talking, uh, him and LeBron, but LeBron LeBron couldn't go to the to the Clippers. He couldn't because Chris Paul does not pass the ball. He just he just does not pass the ball. He is a ball hog, and the thing is, LeBron he wants to handle the ball. That's the kind of person he is. He can he can handle the ball, pass the ball, but with Chris Paul, he wouldn't get anything from him. He'd he'd be just sitting there, be looking at him strange, like, "Hey, man, I'm open. I'm over here. Like, I'm LeBron James. Give me the ball, and I can make it work. I can give you the ball you know, if you, you know, if we can set stuff set stuff up. But like, Chris Paul, he doesn't. He's not a passer. He's not a passer, and that's the reason why him and um him and Blake Griffin, you know, kind of butt heads every once in a while. It's because he doesn't pass, he doesn't pass the ball, and Blake Griffin wants to handle the ball a little bit. You know, I think. Blake Griffin could be a little bit better if he does get to handle the ball, you know, more than he does now. Um, but we can't, we can't have Chris Paul and LeBron James would be two bad things on a, on the same team. They'd be a disaster. It'd be tragic to see them on the same team together. They wouldn't get anywhere. The team would be just broken, and the team would just suck. Probably worse than it does now. Um, and I can't even, I can't even just. There's just nothing there. There's literally nothing that would ever be a thing there. But if Paul George, if Paul George decides to come from Indiana, go to Ohio, go to Cleveland, and f- make a smart decision, um, then the the Cavaliers they have something to f- you know kind of fight back with the Warriors at. To have uh, Paul George on your team? You kidding me? I would love to have that. I would love to have Paul George on my team. Um, I mean, he's, he's a good, he's a good scorer, good passer, you know, he moves the ball around, and he can, he can score, that's the main thing, he can score, he can make points, um, because Kyrie, he's, Kyrie's a good ball handler, uh, but one-on-one, I'd take Steph Curry over Kyrie, uh, because, one, because Kyrie, and, um, Steph Curry can shoot, Kyrie's got some defense, Steph Curry doesn't really have tough defense, but Steph Curry can make it up with his offense, you know, because um, he's not because it's not like he's a James Harden. It's not like he just oh he just whatever, he just lets him go. He actually tries sometimes, but he just doesn't have that good of a defense. James Harden just doesn't do defense like at all. It's it, it, it's it's annoying. 
uh, the way he does stuff like that. But I'll take Steph Curry because he, he makes he makes up with it with his offense and his offensive skills because he can get down in the paint if he wants to. Um, what game was that? Was that game one? I think that was game one where he, LeBron tried to get up on him real tough, um, and he got he got straight through, and got him with the layup. I mean, it's just Steph Curry can do what he wants. You know, he's born and bred to do this kind of stuff. Um, there's been and there's been other talk on freaking Curry that um, people don't like him because he's because he's he's not he's not black black he's just like light skin black like like what what's the difference like the dudes people don't like people I don't know why people don't like him I mean it's Steph Curry he's what do you like why don't like him I mean I'm hoping it's not because of his skin color because that's that's racist we don't like that here we can't have that. Um, what, what do you don't like it? Because he's married with two kids? Because he's faithful to his wife? I mean, or what do you like? Is it that he, the fact that he's on an all-star team? That he's an all-star himself? That he can put up 50 points? Like, he can, if, if he wanted to, if he wanted to, and, you know, the Warriors, like, changed it around and just gave him the ball to shoot, he could possibly get maybe 50, 60 points, you know, in a game. Easily. Easily, is what I'm saying. He moves the ball how he wants to. He gets it to whoever you know he wants to. It's and he's got some nice. I mean, he's got some nice defense. He gets some steals, which is really good. You know, no blocks or anything. I mean, not many blocks or really anything because he's he's not he's not that he's not that big of a guy. I mean, he's Kevin Durant's like six inches taller than him. I mean, you're not gonna do much against a guy who's like Kevin Durant, who's like freaking just huge, or LeBron James, who's also huge. Um. It's it's a matter of um, Steph Curry's just his play style is you know it's very uh, how do I say this it's kind of it's like it's kind of playful but at the same time you know it's like it's nothing to play around with because it can really mess you up you know the whole Warriors offense is all kind of it's the kind of offense that can really mess you up you can you can never really focus on one part you know you guard the outside you got Draymond Green and uh, Kevin Durant coming on the inside. And even uh, freaking Andre Iguodala coming on the inside. And who does that leave on the outside then? Clay Thompson, Steph Curry. You don't leave those two on the outside. I mean, you the, you got it. It makes your it makes your defense constantly have to move. Um, I think a team. I mean, the team a team like the Spurs could uh, easily you know take them because um, I mean, okay, I shouldn't say easily because what happened was tragic. But what happened with the Spurs is tragic. But um. Because they, they they play basic offense and defense, and that fundamental ball gets them so only gets them so far. In this new NBA, they can't survive, so that's that's kind of why they are falling the way. Uh, that's why they need new players. But Golden State is just top top. He's top right now. Kevin Durant, you could say Kevin Durant now is probably the best player in the world, and that's a bold statement right there. But that's not, those aren't my words. That's that's other reporters and all that stuff. Um, so I guess we're gonna move away from the NBA. I mean, I don't want to get too into it because it's like uh, uh, NBA is uh, really it's turning to it's it's turning to what it should be. You know, you want the best players on your team. That's what you know. You see a team that's doing good, go over there. If, sorry, I almost burped there. If you see potential there, go over there, you know? Don't just sit there and look, you know, twiddle your thumbs until, you know, something, a miracle happens. Go over there. Go look. Go see. You know, go explore. Kevin Durant, he went over to the friggin' Warriors and look what happened. Got a championship out of it. He set out to do what he meant to do. You want a ring, you have to go get it. You can't be passive about it, gotta go after it. Uh, and also, on today, which is June 13th, um, on this day in 1997, Steve Kerr hits the winner to clinch the Bulls' 97 NBA title. Um, Steve Kerr being the coach of the uh, Golden State Warriors. Uh, it was game six against the Jazz, and Steve Kerr just hit a nice, nice, easy shot. You know, taking it easy. Uh, so on to, I don't know, where we want to go now. NBA, NFL, let's go to the NFL. Okay, NFL site's not working. Good. Fun. I like that. That's wonderful. I like when stuff doesn't work. Let's go to the NFL. <laughs> Let's go to the NFL and see what's uh what's going on here. 
Oh, Colin Kaepernick news. Oh my gosh. Um, an off, kind of an off topic, but Colin Kaepernick's sales have been up. He is like, what is it, number seven, number seventeenth or seven in sales, and he doesn't even have a jersey anymore because obviously he's not on a team. And the whole thing that's messed him up is obviously the whole nailing during the Pledge of Allegiance kind of thing. But he was justified doing that and all that stuff. Um, but he says, well, he doesn't say, but he he'll stop it. You know, he'll stop it. He won't, you know, kneel anymore. He'll stand and do whatever. Um, but for him to even be picked up by a team, I mean, that's kind of what ruined his career a little bit there. But at the same time, he can still, he still has, he still has potential. And I hope he, you know, fulfills his potential because he's, he's not a bad quarterback. I mean, we've seen him play good. Um, the 49, with the 49ers. Um, jeez, I haven't been, I haven't like been in football in a while. Uh, some quarterbacks I've been looking at, uh, Carson Wentz, you know, I'm looking for something big for him this year. Last year, he actually surprised us for like the beginning, like half of the season. And then it kind of totally fell off in a train wreck, train, train wreck, train wreck. Um, Cam Newton, I'm looking for a little bit of a response from him. You know, he he, get, he gets his title, and then he just kind of goes off to the background, just like, oh, oh, hey, guys, I'm, I'm still relevant, and whatever. Um, the, the Falcons as a whole, I'm looking for something big from them this year, because if they don't respond with something big this year, going back to the Super Bowl and beating the team, who whoever shows up there, it may be the Patriots, it may be the Steelers, it may be whoever. It's the NFL. It is random. They need to, the whole team needs to get there within the next few years to kind of prove their point. Like, hey, we're not a joke. You know, that was just a, that was just a fluke. That was just a lucky game. Um, but I feel like even if they do that, it's going to be like, well, that means like the Patriots are like the best team in the league. The best team in the entire NFL. You know, because of the Falcons couldn't beat them, but they had to go back. But they went back and then beat a different team that's not the Patriots. I mean, then what? I mean, what does that say? Matt Ryan has a lot to freaking improve this this season, this upcoming season, and he needs to he he needs to prove it. He needs to prove himself. Because um, with that kind of loss, I mean, it's just, whew. it is it is oh boy. It's been it's been friggin' weird, and I don't I don't I don't um, I don't know I don't know what we'll see from him. And as you know, uh, I, I can't. I'm gonna cover some. I'm gonna cover some teams. I don't want to get too specific. I mean, everybody who's watched my videos before knows my favorite team. Everybody knows my favorite team. It's the best team in the world. Even though sometimes they, you know, they have bad days and bad games, whatever everybody does, but they're still better than the Bears. Everybody's better than the Bears. And Cleveland, Cleveland, oh boy, Cleveland, Cleveland is a freaking miracle to, you know, do whatever they're planning to do. Um, I don't expect to really see anything huge from Cleveland. I don't expect to see anything from those. Um, D. I, I mean, I I call them D class teams because that's what they are. They're D ranked. They're D ranked. You know, they they have that rating of D. Um, they're they're not good, and they're possibly some of the worst teams to you know be in the NFL. So um, yeah, really weird. Um, I'll I'll get back with the NFL in just a few minutes because I don't want to get into this too much because all my stuff is all my tech isn't working properly. It's making me mad. I guess I can pull up some Packer news. I don't know. <coughs> uh. Oh, boy. I, the draft. I'm so mad that I missed the draft because it just came up and I was like, oh, it's the draft. Or I think I missed some of it because uh, it just snuck up on me. Uh, Kirk Cousins has been is, um, is being watched. He's being stalked down. Uh, and some of the QBs that have been watching him, well, actually, one of them is, is including Aaron Rodgers, um, because I mean, it could this could benefit us. Uh, this could not, sorry, not us. It could benefit the Packers. It could it could not benefit the Packers. I mean, it's a matter of um, 
how they approach this. I mean, they could, if we get Kirk Cousins, oh boy. I mean, hold on. Hold on, let me start. Let me pull this up. This is, uh, if somehow, you know, Kirk Cousins, you know, ends up, you know, scooting, 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 somehow magically ends up over in Green Bay, I mean, it's, stuff is going to go crazy. Uh, he, he, I mean, July 3rd, July 15th. July 15th is the deadline that people are uh, people are looking at. I mean, all uh, quarterbacks like Derek Carr, Matt, Matt Stanford, Matt Ryan, uh, Rodgers, as I said earlier. I mean, they're they're all possible to be affected. Uh, freaking the the Los Angeles Rams uh, changed teams, uh, changed cities. Sorry, uh, didn't really wasn't all for the move. Um, the Cleveland Browns. The Arizona Cardinals, the San Francisco, since they're in need of another, you know, offensive, uh, offensive, uh, offensive hand. Um, the Cleveland Browns, I mean, they, they need somebody, they need something here. You know, the whole city of Cleveland needs freaking help. I mean, the Indians, they almost had it last year. The Cleveland Browns, they need to step up their game. They, they're, they haven't made it to a championship I believe I don't know. Has it? Have they made it to a championship? I don't. I don't remember. I can't. I can't. Uh, I don't know. That's one thing I don't know. I don't know if they've ever ever made it to a uh, Super Bowl. But um, yeah, I mean, we're, they're watching. They're watching. You know, hopefully something something comes up because uh, it's it's gonna get crazy here in the uh, in the next few coming months because the NFL. I mean, it, preseason starts what September, August, September, October. In there, yeah, go, going in there. All right, so over the MLB and baseball. Currently, over in the East and the American League, the Lanky, the uh, the Lankies, the <laughs> the Yankees lead uh, thirty-eight twenty-three as their record um, leading in their division. Uh, AL Central, Minnesota Twins thirty-two twenty-eight. Houston Astros in the West, 42-21, leading their leading their division in the National League. The Washington Nationals are 30-38 and 25 right now, and the Phillies are at the bottom of that division with 20 uh, 21 and 41, which I am just appalled at. Because uh, one of my former teachers, uh, high school teachers, he's a uh, <laughs> he's a Phillies fan. He's a Philly fan in general, because uh, that's where he's from. Um, in the West, the Colorado Rockies are 41 and 25. Pretty good record for the season. Ah, what's going on? All right, that's scary. White Sox are at the bottom of their White Sox are at the bottom of their division, 27 and 35. I don't know what's going on with them. They've been really crappy over the past few years. Uh, the Cubs are second in their division, 31 and 32. <coughs> Sorry, I'm covering the you know Chicago teams. Um, that's only because that's kind of where I live by. I mean, it's closer. To, that's closest big city to me. That's why I cover them because I can I know about them. Um, but other than that, baseball has been going pretty smooth. There are a couple games going on right now that'll probably be over by. Obviously, they'll be way way over by the time uh, this this uh, ends. The Washington Nationals are currently leading. Sorry, hold on. Oh, hold on. Little tough technical difficulty. Come on, come on. Work with me here. Work with me here. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Washington Nationals are currently leading the Atlanta Braves, eight five, and the bottom of the seventh. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates leading the Rockies, five one, in the top of the ninth. And everybody else is trash. Oh, I'm sorry. Chicago Cubs destroying. I mean, Chicago Cubs. Are currently destroying the New York Mets 12 to 1 in the bottom of the seventh, and it's just it's crazy. Uh, the Cubs have been doing something crazy. I don't know if they're gonna go back to the uh, the, the the World Series. I don't know. It. I mean, I'm hoping not. I am not a Cubs fan. I will never be a Cubs fan. I'm against the Cubs. Um, but you know, I mean, hopefully Cleveland gets back. I don't know. I want Cle I want to see Cleveland go back and possibly win because they they kind of need. I want Cleveland needs another title from another sports team. They need hope. Um, Cleveland and the Cleveland. Speaking of Cleveland, uh, they're 
They're down one against the uh, LA Dodgers. Three to two. Top of the eighth. One out currently. And that is it for baseball. Oh boy, this has been a uh, been a pretty eventful podcast here. Edward, oh, 30 minutes. Jeez, easily 30 minutes. Oh, that's why I love this. This is why it was a good idea to start this. You know, this is why it's a good idea to start this. NHL recently, who was in the championship? I know there's somebody there. Um, who won the Stanley Stanley Cup? Right, right, right. That's that. <laughs> I remember my sports terminology. Oh, man, it's been pretty rough. So uh, auditions haven't been uh, officially posted yet or anything for um, this posi- position as for a co-host. Um, because currently, right now, this is just the first episode. And this will be, I don't know, friggin'. Yeah, this will be the start of the series. Um, this is this is the first of many sports podcasts. Um, if, if I get a good outcome from this, the Penguins... Oh wait, sorry. Did they're the oh sorry they're the favorite for next year. Did they just didn't they just win it too? I mean, did I not? Am I not? Am I was I not paying attention when I was listening to the radio? Did I not hear that the Penguins would? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, two nights after winning thirty of uh, the Stanley Cup for a third time. Yeah, that's right. Um, also Crosby, Sidney Crosby. Oh my throat, sorry. Is uh oh he threw out the first pitch uh, in the game against the Rockies. At the Pirates game. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, they did win the Stanley Cup. Uh, sweet. Yeah, I've been, um, the, uh, the Blackhawks. I mean, uh, being not from Chicago, but around Chicago, uh, you know, I see a lot of Blackhawks stuff. I know they won the Stanley Cup, like, a few years ago. Like, ugh. It was big, and it was like, wow, cool. And after that, I really didn't hear much, because they haven't been, apparently they haven't been making enough noise. And I'm not an I'm not a hockey fan personally. I don't really you know, but hockey I'm neutral, pretty much neutral hockey. Um, I don't really watch it, you know, simply because it's it's uh it's not for me, you know, it's not my type of sport to watch. Why'd I click on the NHL app? Well, I don't know why. Get that out of my face. Thank you. But I'm hoping that uh, soccer. Okay, yeah. Oh boy, the first thing I see is a guy who has broken his leg. This is wonderful. All right, um, Argentina is leading, leading currently Singapore six to zero. Jeez, good lord! Oh man, I thought we were done with the blowouts in soccer. Four to, uh, Brazil is currently leading Australia four to zero. France is leading England three to two. Japan and Iraq tie or are tied right now. With, or are tied. They, they finished the game tied. Final time one to one. Syria and China tied one to one. What is going on with my phone? I don't know. It's being stupid. I don't even know why I'm over here. Let's. Uh oh. Uh oh. I did a bad thing. I did a bad thing. I got lost there for a second. Alright. So that's as much as I will cover with soccer for now. I don't want to get too into it until I have a co host because that will. Um, that'll be pretty interesting, our talks for that. That's a. Uh, that's more debate kind of thing. So, um. Yeah, but. Uh, Back to the NBA a little bit. The question is, you know, should um, should the Cavs trade for uh, another star? You know, trade one of their stars for another star to compete with um, to compete with Warriors. I believe they should trade Kevin Love because he's like I feel like he's the weak link because uh, the first time I think I believe it was the first time they went to the finals and they faced Cleveland. Kevin Love was weak. Or either it was the first or the second times I can't remember, but Kevin Love was weak, and they were and people were saying it like Kevin Love, like what is he doing? Is like he's weak. He's like, and then he came back and just freaking, I he started trying to act tough. I mean, it kind of did a little bit there. Uh, I still say he's like kind of the weak link. Like you, you, it it shouldn't take that long for you to wake up and be like realize like, hey, I'm in the NBA Finals. Um, I should be playing my hardest every single night. Every game counts. You know, you can't waste a game. Um, you can't afford to lose a game because that, that gives the other team an advantage. And this is, you know, you only got seven games to figure it out. If you and we have to do that within seven games. You know, you know what? You never want it to go to a game seven unless, you know, uh, unless you're the fan. But if you're the NBA player, you don't want it 
to become uh, you don't want it to go to game seven unless you're like that confident in your performance that hey we can beat him at game seven uh, we just want to you know we just want a good series going on here um, over in golf news the open the US Open one of my favorite events for golf uh, the coverage begins in two days um, by the time I post this probably in one day or might have started today um, but it starts June 15th through going through June 18th. Um, I'm a, I'm disappointed that Tiger didn't is obviously not qualified. Also because he's a lot of stuffs going on and I don't really want to talk about it because he's just just losing it. He still has the potential to be good because guys like Phil Mickelson are still in there. He's well into his 40s. I think he's almost. I think he's in his 50s. I don't know. I forget. Um, but he's he's up there. And he's still going, going good, going strong. Um, but he's been, he's been kind of messing up his career, and I feel like he's been. I mean, he's been more disappointing. I like growing up, because um, I've been playing golf since like eight years old, and uh, that's that's the guy who I look up to, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, yay, yay, yay! You know, always doing his thing, and then you know he disappeared, got back surgery multiple times. And then I've been hearing all this news. There's an incident about this, about his uh, first wife or girlfriend, or chasing him down in his freaking Escalade, bashing his window in with one of his golf clubs. I mean, it's it's crazy. You know, all this stuff just crazy. All this drama with his life that he doesn't need. Like he could, he, he, if he wasn't, if he hadn't gone through any of that crap, he could still be like a top competitor and you know still be there. I mean, I wouldn't say necessarily winning championships or anything like that, but. It could still be, you know, up there being in the top five easily, you know? And it's kind of sad to see one of your childhood heroes just go down like that. It's like, you know, freaking seeing... Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of somebody suitable for this. It's like... Uh, it's like Kobe. Let's take Kobe, for instance. If Kobe didn't end this, uh, end like he did, uh, if Kobe was like, oh, in this last season he was just... You know, all this drama started spurting out about him. You know, he left. He guy was out. You know, he's like, oh, I'm gonna have some back surgery because I need it. I, 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 um, and I'm not saying that as like a joke. Like, oh, he just got back surgery just because he wanted to. No, he he needed to have back surgery, uh, Tiger. But uh, it's like, oh, I gotta have back surgery. My back's you know not good. Um, like his wife chases him down. You know, breaks a window with a basketball or something. I don't know. Um. But, like, and you see Kobe just kind of drift off to the outside of the NBA, and all you hear about is news, you know? And he tries to come back, hurts himself in practice, more back surgery, you know? But, like, and he just kind of just, he's just there. Tiger's just sitting there on the outside of the, outside of the uh, PGA looking in, you know? He's, he's outside looking in at something that could have been still good for him, but... Frankly, it just it's just not it's not um it's not good for him. I mean, I, I hope to see him come back within the next year or so if he doesn't, and then it's over for him. He's retired and I don't know if he's Hall of Fame material for uh, uh PGA. I don't know what the qualifications for that are. I'm hoping to see him in there because I mean, he was a good competitor for his day. Um really good competitor. But um I don't know. I don't see much else for him to do I mean he's pretty much run his course but we can always hope so with that I will end this first podcast this first um, sports podcast for this for this channel um, so this has been the update with me and I hope to see you guys in the Hope to see you guys in the next video. Tell me in the comments. I mean, if you got something to say, say it, please. You know, don't be afraid to give your opinion out there because that's what this whole show is. It's all opinions, and it's. I mean, there's facts in here. Of course, they had to be. Facts have to be thrown in here before you know opinions can be formed. Um, because you have to look at the facts before you form an opinion, because then your opinion can be easily shut down. But um, you know, throw some stuff in the comments. You know, just. If you have any comments about anything I've said, anything I covered over, I mainly covered over the NBA because that's what's that's what's going on right now. You know, that's the biggest thing that just happened. That's recent. Um, everybody's been talking about that. I had to get that off my chest and you know just say that like, hey, this is what's going on, NBA. You know, 
I'd be dumb to not cover that, honestly. <coughs> I have to go get more water. My freaking throat is destroyed. So I want you guys to have a good evening. I want you guys to think about this. Good day, good evening, whatever, good morning. I want you guys to think. Just think a little bit. If you don't watch sports and you're listening to this, start watching sports. Or start listening to more uh, sport podcasts. Um, because eventually I'm going to have people start. I just got, I'm just going to have like... Um, Probably a live stream or something going on. I'll have people call in and be like, hey, you know, because I want to hear your guys' opinions, you know. I like to have a conversation with, you know, some of you guys. Uh, that way this podcast can, you know, be that hour long and it actually be entertaining enough. Because this is, this is the uh, sports podcast. This is the podcast that I imagine. That's the podcast that I want to have. Because um, I want to feel as much like radio as possible. But um, anyway, you know, thanks guys for listening. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your days. And as always, I will see you guys in the next in the next video. Peace.